The summer heat is creating challenges for sockeye salmon returning to Idaho as water temperatures rise and drought conditions threaten other fish. I checked in with the Idaho Fish and Game to see how the sockeye salmon they rescued in early July are doing and learn more about their broodstock program. Obviously in a normal year would prefer that these fish uh, were able to complete that last leg of their journey and their, their full ocean going life cycle. Um, but in a year like this, it, you know, we had to give them that assistance and in, increase migratory survival because of those extreme conditions. The Idaho Fish and Game traveled to Lower Granite Dam on the Snake River in early July to trap as many sockeye salmon as they could with the Army Corps of Engineers and NOAA Fisheries. Then they brought 201 sockeyes to the fish hatchery in Eagle. When fish get here, uh, they go through a full biological workup. So um, we look at their length, their weight, we determine their sex. They also take a genetic sample and for about 75% of the fish spawned in Redfish Lake, they can determine the parents. And they also know if the fish came from the hatchery. And we can uh, determine how best to conserve the genetic diversity with those fish. Only two sockeyes have made it back to Redfish Lake this year, but 629 have made it to Lower Granite Dam, which is one of the four dams on the Snake River that Representative Mike Simpson has proposed to breach. And last week, supporters of the plan organized a flotilla because of their concern for the salmon. Dams um, make it so that the water's hotter, which is especially important on a year like this. Um, there's more exposure to predators. Um, it means that less juvenile salmon are going to the ocean and less adults are coming back. But while the dams remain a controversial issue, the dwindling salmon return dates back decades. In 1990, zero sockeye returned. And a year later, the Idaho Fish and Game started their captive broodstock program to preserve the population, including the fish they rescued this year. So some of our um, adults that we've reared from egg um, will get spawned here at the hatchery and others will get released in the lake to, to spawn in the lake and produce those that next generation of, of fish that'll go to the ocean. Drought conditions affect other fish besides the salmon as reservoirs drop all over Idaho. This past week, the Idaho Fish and Game issued a salvage order at the Lost Valley Reservoir west of New Meadows. Anglers have the opportunity to catch as much perch and trout as they can because as the water dries up, these fish are going to die. Steve Dent, Idaho News 6.